My name is Patrick Sheen, my years are thirty-four. Tipperary is my native place, not far from Galtimore. I came of honest parents, but neither lying low. Though many's the pleasant day we spent in the glen of our lows. When the father died, I closed his eyes outside our cabin door. For the landlord and the sheriff too were there the day before. And then my loving mother, I and sisters three also, were forced to leave with broken hearts from the glen of Ahalo. For full four months in search of work, I wandered far and near. I went unto the poor house. To see my mother dear, the news I heard near broke me heart, but still in all me woe, I hid along for in a pauper's grave in the glen of Arlo. Bereft of home and kith and kin, we hid plenty all around. I starved within my cabin and slept upon the ground. But as poor as my lot was, I ne'er did hardship know till I joined the English army far away from Marlow. Rohis up there crying the corporal. You lazy Irish hound, why don't you hear the bugle? Its call to arms doth sound. I found I had been dreaming of the days long, long ago. And I woke up in Sebastopol, and not in Arlo. I tried to find my musket. How dark I thought the night. Oh, blessed God, it was not dark. It was the broad daylight. And when I found that I was blind, the tears began to flow. And I longed for him, a pauper's grave, in the glen of Arlo. A poor neglected mendicant, I he wandered Dublin streets. My he name on pension it in out, I he begged from all I meet. As I joined my country's tyrants, my face I can never show. Oh, amongst my dear old neighbours in the glen of Arlo. So Irish youth, dear countrymen, take heed of what I say. For if you join the English ranks, you'll surely rue the day. And if you are attempted a soldier in the go, remember poor blind Sheehan, oh, 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 the Glen Hall.